So, hey guys, today we're going to dive into VFAN's NFT collection and we're going to try to break it down from a Caribbean context and a Caribbean perspective. So, for those who don't know, I'm OC Phillips, play around in the space of NFTs, digital transformation, blockchain, and a couple other things. And today, V Friends, it's Gary V. For those who don't know, Gary Vaynerchuk could go on YouTube or any social media and just type in Gary V and his content will show up. This is his NFT product called V Friends. All right. And of course, if you go to vfriends.com, you can see the same page that I'm seeing here. And we'll dive into it. Of course, you could book games. There's a library. There's his collection. There's could explore friends. And then you have the option to collect your wallet, right? And we're going to brush through just quickly. Um, I just point out a couple of things, right? So, of course, like I keep saying, for those of you who didn't check out my previous videos, check them out on YouTube um, or social media. I keep saying that NFTs are more than just images. And we can see here very clearly that he specifically chose to use real ad hoc images. Like he drew a giraffe, but the name of it is Genuine Giraffe. And those are the things that he speaks about to his community. So the very first thing for him is that he knows that there's benefit in his community for him to sell NFTs, right? And we're going to dive a little bit deeper into what the benefit of this is. And I can show you the value and the utility of NFTs besides it just being a picture, right? So, of course, we're looking at this moment, Genuine Giraffe for 50 Ethereum. TT dollars, that is $46,601.25. Of course, Big Game Bandicoot, 25 TT dollars, 25 Ethereum, sorry. There's a TT day price there, all right? And of course, you could scroll right down. You can see Cheerful Chip, Bad Intention, Sympathetic, Sympathetic Squid, Brilliant Bob. I think about this specifically because he speaks about things like this, forgiveness, sympathy, being cheerful, uh, gratitude. You don't see him speaking about those things. Let me just add um, I lost it. I, it looks like they're basically hand drawn, right? As you can have some information there on about NFTs, etc. Um recent activity here shows you somebody bought patient panda for fifty five dollars. Somebody bought material for seven dollars and the last year, right? And I'm more emu, gift coat, um rare robot, and you can see all of those, right? And of course you could scroll through them and you can see different ones that people bought, right? Of course, he has a time of what he goes to, what he is going to do in terms of delivering value, all right? Um, and you get have different things like jam session, bring yourself and three friends for a three-hour jam session with him. So all this is part of the utility slash value that you get from purchasing his NFTs, right? So he has basically like a timeline of events or value that matches the utility of it, right? So this is where it gets pretty pretty interesting and i like i want people to focus on here what is v friends he's going to tell you v friends is the name of his nft collection to bring life and ambitions to building a community around creative and business persons or business passions using nft technology and their smart contract capabilities notice very clearly what he's speaking about smart contract capabilities right why nfts that's that you could dive into that and he spoke about how he spoke the trend about Web 2.0 on the internet, how he was one of the early movers into it and how it's benefits. And he died that NFT about that. That was the technology behind the smart contracts and utilities, how that is going to be here for a while. And that's why he's invested in it, right? So one of the benefits of actually owning an NFT is getting access to VCon. Now, VCon is one of the value that he adds to it. So you know, look at it at the price and say, hey, why is it this price? But this is the value that you get to it. You have access for three conferences, 2022, 2023, 2024. So if you, have, well, if you purchase one of that for 15 or $20, you have access to his conferences for the next three years, or this year or the next two years, right? And that will give you of your networking, it will give you a lot of creativity, entrepreneurship, and a different focuses or different value that you could get when you do that, right? And let's dive a little bit more into the frequently asked questions, right? So we spoke about what is V friends. tokens. So of course, that's a lot. And if you have an average of like twenty dollars, dollars you could get a lot of how much money he's gonna get from this. And of course the value over the next two or three hours, but the value that people would buy that would cut would kinda buy it off for the head. What is V Cry just spoke about that, right? How do you first talk about us? Right, so the other crypto dollars last forever. 
spoke about access and custody abortions would expire on May 4, 2024. Right? Um, to the top four types of access that the four types of NFTs have. Right? The NFTs, we spoke about that before. Still the right. Of course, we spoke about the human traits that he wants and Yes, the image in the original or 268 of the V4 characters himself. Right? But when I talk about this time, there are three categories of tokens. Now, this is very, very important. In yeah. that sense, there are three categories of tokens. Accepts, gifts, or addition. That they should treat size and value. Right? However, all token holders receive trial access, plus a big one, an exclusive experience of V4's and FTL, a certain guy or a special guest. Now, he can't take four of our entire business. But I was a huge deal. He could have got a lot of people that you may or not have gotten access to for that $15 or $20. Right? Which type of token are one of one artwork? V friends are one of one artworks. So just one of the same edition of their token artwork with the V friends family. Right? You have to be so many marketplaces, of course. You can see how reliable and all other marketplaces. But the first buy you have to buy for is a site or a recovery site on other marketplaces, right? So that could be a sale, open sea, a reliable, of course. And all of those, I think that's a type of society for the few friends. Of course, there's a little bit of ambiguity on how you could pass your royalties to other people. So he gets all the royalty that if you buy it on site back for, if you buy it for $20, you sell it for $100, he gets 10% of that royalty fee. Right? Yes, right? What is it going to do about the effect of NFT for those who buy it? They have a lot of impact means that they have a lot of, um, my own, but it takes them on cryptocurrencies, it's for their environment. And, of course, he's going to donate some of the money to organizations that benefit renewable energy, solar and wind, so it will cut down the carbon footprint, right? How do you purchase it? Get cryptocurrency, right? Purchase Ethereum from an exchange called Dogeo Binance, and, of course, transfer to um, to a customer wallet like MetaMask or Wallet Connect or any other Wallet Connects um, compatible wallets. And of course, you can um, go into um, purchase your NFT. Of course, it tells you how to set up a crypto wallet, steps you want to take to get it done, and etc. And what is so special about this NFT connection is because it cuts access to its credibility and it's focusing on our utility to data, right? Would they be able to collect royalties by it? Because that's a lot of regulatory concerns. Of course, he's a reference. I would be able to get uh, out on, on Uncle Sam for that kind of thing, right? Can I watch out as my V-Friends? Like all v friend tokens that I... Not have to property. Well, my friend, I don't know. I can't establish it. The character is always an army, which is really smart, right? Of course, you could interact with other people. This court channel, that is said that I have access. I don't know how people don't know, I think. I've heard that he also chooses how much, um, he has a select few of his NFTs that he sells to specific people. So what that does now is gives him access to certain people that he didn't have access to before. So you can reach out to somebody you want to do business with and say, hey, look at my NFT project. I want to give you this, and this is the value, right? I want to get into this really quickly. Um... Right, and with V friends. So they are now out of 500 Abbas tokens, 555 gift tokens, and 500 access tokens. Right? So, how do I buy this? We're going to get into the access tokens. They are the Abbas Auto tokens that are like your experiences of Gary, such as Gold Arts, and so you get to go far out of the house, you get to play a place that you have there. Right? So, 300 V friends access tokens, right? 200 of 200 of tokens that give virtual access, and I with access access. So, 200 of tokens that have Zoom calls, Skype calls, meetings, right, lives, etc. The majority of those people that have all person access, right? All person access tokens that go on at tokens, but they have a unique original token at, right? And then all, they are all people with tokens would receive free access pass for three years, right? So all additional online access tokens would expire for me. Right? So of course he has the breakdown of that here. Right? So one hundred sixty five of these have group access to experience all those called tokens, and other group access tokens. 
Just call it biohacking. Like first biohacking, biohacking. So you could do that. So I see as we, as we move forward, the utility of our phones here now. So you're not just paying for that. You're paying for the access. You're paying for accessing into a conference that would have been hundred or two hundred or thousand dollars, right? You paying for that access where they don't get to meet people and then of course network and of course build your business because probably most likely you're a business person or you're into that space. Need needless to say the value of this is way more than you pay for, right? One to one access, he has it there. A hundred eight of these have one to one access. But where V friends token holders have the opportunity to redeem Gary. All right. And of course, different things. FaceTime, 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 Garage Sailing, Workout, part of the team, podcast, quick side, marital marketing, gym session, like wild shopping spree, keynote, like shadow him for a while, poker. So what is the real best things? Are actual things that you get to do? Now purchase it, you could do these things with him. So podcast part of probably is how get access to podcast. Of course, courtside cat means that once you own an NFT, you get to go with him courtside in an NBA game, right? And um, that level of access you forget that is all on this, right? So competition access, let's look at that. Two and two days competition access, right? Now the experience one of you who allows the opportunity to redeem the time to compete at Gary in a game. Of course, basketball, bubble hockey, checkers, Uno, ping pong, tennis, or video games. All of these things he's going to do with people. All of these things he's going to repurpose into content. And all of these things are going to draw more inbound traffic to him. Really, really strategic. Really, really nice. Scholarship access. Eh? Has the opportunity to repurpose as well as his professional tool. You can imagine have access to Gary's professional network. Values and quantities of reference characters with scholarship access. Right? Gift code tokens. Yeah, 555 gift tokens. Like all the reference, receive a tree access passive card and the other, other um, additional. And of course, admission tokens, you have the breakdown. So you kind of get the context as to what it is. All the admission, you have know, core limited, rare, very rare, epic, right? And then 1,400 of these, right? Different levels of different character types. And you go down. So you kind of get that this context as to why he did that. Um, to, not just the authority, but the value and um, strategy that comes along this. Now, he could not just thought about this just like that. This is very strategic. For the millions of the, of the actual images, millions of the NFTs that are tied actually back to the access that they get or not access, right? Or the exposure that they get to the network. Everything is tied into and this is why I firmly believe that we should look at in the Caribbean the utility of the NFT more than other things. And this is a sort of perfect example. Now let's not take away the fact that Gary has a very large community and following that he could do this. But everything that is geared to has a value to his community. Right? His community gets value. And of course, just like anybody else, before you buy a business, it's, it's saying a lot. But we should buy a community, right? So let's look at how to build this community. And um, of course, like the value. You go back to the VCAD, right? right? I will tell you, every single time I try to pick up this customer, I got a lot of people for that one. So all this is self service. Everything you could possibly think about, I was scared. You could get the information there. Yeah. When I get that information there, yeah, it breaks it down, goes as far as you may be talking about the browser of terms. Character, talk on the groups, talk on the tokens, what all access, competition, talk. So you have no disparity as to what this is. Yeah. You know exactly what it is. And of course, in brief friends, you could connect to the library, you could look at his collection, you could have access different types of things, different channels, of course, your social media for all of these things. Gary V, Vcon, all his other, um, Connectivities, all these other channels, sorry, and all the other things that he have, yeah, and we find other jobs. So, even if you let me look at this with V friends and Vena NFT, I'm not too sure how much access we have to this, but of course, all these channels can I show you why I want to NFTs, and I'll just go back and break this down from a Caribbean context. 
So my whole partner just run around NFTs and say, hey, you know, we really just want to 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 uh buy expensive JPEGs and flip it and sell it. We want to actually have the access. We want to have the experience. We want you to have that knowledge of how to structure your strategy or value or whatever that. And of course, that could come from almost any other value that you could derive from other businesses or from your existing network. How you access to people is what I want to look at in the Caribbean.